If you come to Japan, one of the places I'd like you to visit is Nara. Nara is one of the beautiful prefectures where all Japanese traditions still remain. You can see many world heritage sites and have valuable experiences that can only be done there. Also, people in Nara are really warm and you can easily interact with locals around the area. Even from a Japanese perspective, Nara is full of charm. Okay, let's go on a day trip to Nara together. Horyuji Temple. Unfortunately, it was raining in the morning. First, we headed to Horyuji Temple. Horyuji was founded in 607 by Prince Shotoku and Empress Suiko. It's a tourist spot that represents Nara Prefecture and was registered as a World Cultural Heritage Site. Therefore, it's a place where many tourists, not only from Japan, but also from overseas, come to visit. But luckily, there are barely any people at all today. In fact, the borders haven't yet opened at this time. Also, it's raining. But thanks to that, we had a really relaxing time. We entered from the Nandaimon Gate. After a while, you can see the Chumon Gate. The statue of Kongo Rikishi is a must-see. Tickets are 1,500 yen for adults. If I remember correctly, it used to be 1,000 yen. It's getting so expensive. However, it's still worth seeing inside of Horyuji Temple because you can see the oldest wooden building in the world. For example, this five-story pagoda. It was built 1,400 years ago and still stands here. Believe it or not, it has never broken once. Actually, it's not totally known, but it's said because of the way it's built. Because of a long pillar in the center of the structure, called Shinchu. To simply put, the strong central pillar is built into the ground and then connected through to the top of the tower, while Shinchu and each floors are not directly connected. So each floor can twist alternately, like a snake, and turn in order to maintain its balance even during an earthquake. All Japanese architecture is so amazing, isn't it? Actually, this strategy is also used in the Tokyo Skytree. Well, next on the agenda is Nara Park. Nara Park. I was so excited to come here because I haven't been here since my school trip in elementary school. I feel like they're more dear than before. If you come here, you should feed them with shikasenbei, which are specific rice cracker for the deers. You'll see many shops selling them in the park. The deer in Nara Park seem to be just like Japanese people. Basically, they have a warm personality and are polite. Sometimes they bow to you when you feed them. However, some of them have bad manners. They'll bump you with their head sometimes. Please remember that if you buy crackers, you'll be stalked by many deers. They're a little bit scary, but still so cute. In Nara, deer have priority over people and even cars. After feeding our new friends, we arrived at Todaiji Temple. Todaiji Temple. Look at this huge gate. And this is the famous Kongo Rikishi statue at Todaiji Temple. Tickets are 600 yen for adults, much cheaper than Horiji Temple. Todaiji Temple is a world heritage site known for the Great Buddha of Nara. It's really huge when you see it up close. I still can't believe Japanese people used to make this all by hand. My friend bought a book called Goshuin Cho. The man draws a commemorative signature specific to the temple. If you like Japanese temples and shrines, buying a Goshuin Cho is a great idea. Each of them has a different design. Okay, it's time for lunch. I headed to a tempura restaurant near Todaiji Temple. There are many kinds of tempura bowls and I ordered the Nameko tempura bowl. It was delicious. After that, we went to the store I really wanted to go to. I'm so excited. Walk down the old Japanese alleys. This is the store, Nakagawa Masahichi Shoten. 
It's a Japanese brand that was created 300 years ago. The shop sells stylish bags and clothes that use traditional Japanese sewing techniques. There are also tea-making utensils, which I really love. The main reason I came here was to buy this outdoor matcha set. It's something I've wanted for a long time, so I'm really happy to be able to purchase it. It's truly spark joy. Spark joy. <laughs> How much joy? How much? One, one hundred twenty percent joy. <laughs> and there is another reason I'm here. It's to go to the cafe inside the store called Salon. Salon. After you go through the Japanese-style decorated corridor and pass a garden, you'll find the tatami room. The atmosphere is so calm and soothing. Everything on the menu looks delicious. It's honestly irresistible for matcha lovers. This is a matcha latte and a matcha affogato. It's eaten with thick matcha that's poured onto the ice cream. I'm drooling just looking at it. I ordered the matcha and omogashi set. Omogashi is made from soybeans and it was so delicious. So much, much. Of course, the quality of matcha is amazing. <laughs> I'm really happy to be here. At night, the streets of Nara began to darken. If you want to eat something at night near Kintetsu Nara station, this sakura dori is really recommended. Sakura dori. There are various kinds of shops and restaurants on this street. We decided to go an izakaya called Yamato Modan. Cheers! After we finished, we headed to Yuzan Guest House, where we stayed tonight. Yuzan Guest House. It's a traditional Japanese-style house that was renovated into a guest house. Why I chose this guest house was that it had really good reviews online. There's a cafe and bar right next to the guest house so we went there and talked with some of the locals. Overall, it was a really great trip. I love Nara. If you come to Japan, please come visit Nara. Yeah, you can definitely enjoy your trip. Okay, so stay safe, have fun, and thank you for watching as usual. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye!